Hey guys, Shawnee coming in. Got another battle replay here for you on Total War Rome 2. We are using the Unconquered Sun Balanced mod for more of the tournament here that they had done over in their Discord. I will make sure to put the link for the Discord in the description below, along with the link for the mod so you guys can find out the rules and uh, everything that was going on in this tournament. But we are in a, another group here. So this is not, from what I've been able to understand so far from reading what I've read in the Discord, uh, this, wow, they are really being aggressive here with Salusa. Jesus Christ. That's Saravan Cavalry. You might want to back off from that. That's medium melee. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, these, are, these, these battles that I've covered so far are just group battles. These aren't actual bracket battles yet. The brackets should start in the next couple of replays, I think, uh, after these sets are done. But on the battlefield here today, we do have the bosses of this gym on this side. So we have Arverni being commanded by Tow Towers Titan, and he has three Celtic warriors, three Helvintian mercenaries, and two Osworn, one of those being his general. Then we have Persia being commanded by Grecos, and he has two units of the Pushtaban Cataphracts, one Saravan Cavalry, one Persian horseman. General is a royal Persian horse archer, two units of the horse archers, and one horse skirmisher. And then we have Massilia being commanded by Fine Tips, and he has three Levy Freeman, two Massilian Threo Spears, two Light Hoplites. General is a Massilian cavalry. He also has three Celtic Slingers and two Gallic Hunters. On the opposite side of the battlefield, we have the Dogs of War. We have Seleucid here, first being commanded by War. And he has two Camel Spearmen, two Mercenary Armored Camel Spearmen. General is a Hellenic Cataphract, and he also has three Horse Skirmishers. Uh, then we have a Colchis being commanded by the Ninja Keeper, and he has three Eastern Spearmen, two Hoplites, one Colchian Noble. General is a Noble Blood Cavalry. He also has three Eastern Slingers and two Eastern Archers. And then finally, we have the Odrysian Kingdom being commanded by Marcus Decimus. And he has four Thracian Warriors, two Mercenary D or Dai Swordsmen. I don't know how to say the name of that unit, so if you guys let me know, uh, that is them right there. D-I-I, D Swordsman, Dai Swordsman, I'm not sure. And he also has these General is a Thracian Noble. But all right, there you go. End of the army compositions. Everybody getting closer and closer. Let's get ready for the beginning of the battle, guys. Make sure you hit the like button, drop some comments, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. But let's dive in. All right, so guys, here we are driving into the beginning of the actual battle replay itself. And a lot of skirmishing going on here. Horse skirmishers for Seleucid. And we do have the horse archers here for the Persian faction. Just totally blanked on what they were called for a second. Ooh, we're going to get caught out. Sovereign Cavalry, they're really trying to catch up to these boys. The Skirmisher Cav is just so fast. They're able to get away. So fast. Very light missile cavalry. Oh, wait a second. We got some wavering over here. Skirmishing not going well for Massilia. Starting to drop pretty quickly. Down to 53 men. They only have gotten one kill so far, but I think they have two units of slingers firing at them. They do. They do. They have two units of Eastern Slingers firing away. He's going to be able to pull them back. Hopefully, they'll be able to maintain, though. Uh-oh. Ooh, boy. Wait a second. Got some Persian horsemen about to charge into Eastern Spearmen. Did not get into square formation fast enough. Flattening them. Good charge there. He's going to pull away. Lost one there. That was from a random arrow, I'm going to guess. Random stone. Ooh, wow. 14 kills for that Eastern Spearmen. Or against that Eastern Spearmen, I should say. Lions starting to move forward a little bit further. We have some of the hoplites of Colchis have moved forward. I think they're there to back up the Eastern Spearmen. That's possible. Levy Freeman making their way. Arrows flying in yet again. This Eastern Spearmen unit's about to be surrounded. Oh boy. Gallic Hunter's getting some shots in there just as the Levy Freeman surrounded the Eastern Spearmen. They're going to fall back. Levy Freeman are going to fall away from that fight. They lost a couple on their way out because the Gallic Hunters are just going to be finishing them off with their arrows. Going to fall back out of score formation. 39 left in the unit. They're going to charge forward, but I don't think they're really going to do very much. I mean, they're just Eastern Spearmen. They're not, they're not really all that special. They're not that good. <laughs> but got shots coming over here again, though. We got the Eastern Slingers again firing over here towards the Gallic Hunters now of Basilia. But I'm starting to see some of the Colchis uh, Slingers here getting taken out. So it looks like maybe we had a little bit of a double up there. Ooh, God, Gallic Hunters, 50 kills, but you just watch those guys just get dropped. Just dropped. Oh, my God. 
Whew, 16 dead. That's crazy. All right, back over here. Looks like um, Persia's actually brought all of his cavalry back over onto this side, side of one of his other cataphracts that's still sitting on that far side there. So Lucid's brought some of his camel spearmen up. Actually, both units of his camel spearmen. He's got his mercenary armored camel spearmen up here as well. So it looks like the cavalry fight is going to be on this side. We're going to have mostly the inter infantry fight, skirmishers, as far as slingers and archers on the other side for the main part of the fight. Though there is still cavalry over here. We have the Noble Blood Cavalry right there. Some heavy melee cavalry. Still have that sh very heavy shock cavalry right there, though. But right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Got some Levy Freeman making their way. Eastern Spearmen don't have javelins. So I guess they're just going to chase them off. Never mind. The Levy Freeman said, uh uh. Levy Freeman said, nah, man, I'm going to fight you. Ooh, shots coming in now. Who's that? The Galax? Galax Hunters firing in there. I mean, I don't think they really need to do that. Levy Freeman should be able to win that fight. Yeah, they're winning right now. Winning decisively, yeah. I don't I mean, unless they're maybe just wanting to get the fight over faster. But, oh boy, the Cataphracts making their move. Cataphracts starting to just kind of sneak their way. I don't know if that's just maybe like a fake, like a faint kind of thing. Maybe try to keep that Noble Blood Cavalry on his toes. Back over on the other side. Ooh, we got some Camel Spearmen getting a little bit closer. Here comes that. The Horse Skirmishers are Seleucid again. 29, 22, and 16. Then we have 7. Ooh, oh god, that was really damaged. 8 kills there. This unit here with 11. So it does look like Seleucid Skirmishers are winning this fight so far. As far as the uh, Mounted Skirmish battle that's going on over here. The general is still very, uh, very healthy. 60 left in that unit. 60 out of 60. So still full. He's getting himself 14 kills so far. And some Eastern Spearmen make their way forward. Ooh. Arverni getting involved a little bit there. Gal uh, the Celtic Warriors. I'm going to call them Gallic Warriors. But Celtic Warriors there getting a javelin volley. Firing into the hoplites there. With the noble blood. Where's the... Uh oh, Coquine hop hoplites are right there. Okay. Wasn't sure exactly where they had disappeared to. So, so far, it does look like so far, the skirmishing is going to the Seleucid. Uh, but it looks like so the overall, I mean, going by balance of power, does look like the bosses of this gym team is currently winning. But, I mean, land battles can turn very, very quickly. They really can. Another javelin volley into a unit of hoplites, and they're going to fall back. The warriors are going to fall back again, so he's just taking the kills when they can. Got him, silly and Thoreos making their way forward. Oh boy. Uh oh. Yeah, Thracian warriors, that's dangerous. I don't really know how good the die or D swordsmen are. They are shields, though. They do have shields. Uh, pretty good stats. Pretty good stats. Wow. Actually, really good stats. They have ranged. They have two javelins with them. Nice. But okay, here we go. Oh, we're about to see one. We're about to see a unit get into into combat here. We're chasing them away. Okay, so here comes the aggressiveness. Thracian army making their way across the field. The Udrissian kingdom forces charging in. I see the cataphracts charging. Ooh, cataphracts charging right into that mercenary armored spearman. But it looks like that armored spearman is starting to lose. The cataphract might have to worry, though, because he does have Koki and Hoplites making their way. But this is a big push straight up the center of the field. I don't think... I think that they are actually drawing them in. They're drawing them in the middle here. Light Hoplites still running away. Die Swordsman. What is that ability right there? What is that? Mountain Range. Oh, Mountain Rage. Oh, that must be from their general. Okay, that's General's abilities. Yeah, that looks like General's abilities. Okay. Was not entirely sure. This is a newer unit. I've never seen that one before. But there's yeah, they are they are they are kind of drawing them into the middle there. You see the Celtic Warriors, and now we have the Levy Freeman colliding around or surrounding that one unit there. They are starting to lose pretty quickly. Looks like pretty, kind of the same thing happened here. We have one unit of Massilian Threo Spears over this side, but here comes those Hovician or Helvetian, Helvetian mercenaries. They're going to start making their way forward here as well. We have the uh, Massilian general charged in here into Thracian warriors. That's usually a dangerous thing to do with cavalry. I was going to say, he is losing the fight. 
Did get a good charge, though. It's 35 kills, not too bad. Uh, back over on this side, Hoplites look like they have gotten involved in the fight, but they're taking on some horse archers. Let's push them down Cataphract here. 54 kills down to 14 left. Still have the general roaming around. He's lost some men. It looks like he's taking pot shots at the armored. Oh, that was a big charge. Camel Spearman got a nice charge in onto that horse archer general, but it more looked like maybe it was a counter charge than an actual full charge. Uh, back over here, we have some more of the Camel Spearmen continuing to chase down the horse skirmishers there. But this is where the fight is. Oh, boy. We got an Osworn against the Thracian Noble. That is a big fight. Osworn against Thracian Nobles. Looks like we have something joining the fight here as well. Some Celtic warriors. The uh, Helvetian mercenaries are joining the fight as well. They actually got a rear charge. Oh, that's going to be the end of that Thracian Noble General. He is surrounded. That is definitely not where that, Osworn, where that uh, Thracian Noble General wanted to be. Oh, boy. Yeah, he got carved up. That was a very solid move there by Arverni. Really solid move. Cutting the Odrysian Kingdom General out. Big, big, big time. Big time. Uh, we have the... Other push again, Cataphract here taking on the Noble Blood. That's not going to work out very well for the Cataphract. He has really low melee defense. Well, he should have. But yeah, it's 26 compared to the... Uh, oh, it's only 35? For, wait a second. A heavy shot cavalry. 26 melee defense. Usually have much lower melee defense than that. But hey, I don't know. Threo Spears, Massilian Threo Spear. Yeah, the Noble Blood. Oh, he got surrounded too. He got surrounded too. Oh, the Massilian General just got cut down. Wow, that was like one, two, three, four, five, at least seven guys from that Massilian General just got fired upon. Eastern Archers taking out some rage there. But this looks like it is basically getting turned around. The Royal Persian Horse Archer General there unfortunately caught up in melee. Yeah, he got caught out. Definitely looked like he got cut out. We had some hoplites over here, Kokian hoplites. Camel Spearmen making their way back. They're going to get a good charge. Blast right through that Celtic Warrior unit. Oh, Javelin Volley anyway, though. Wow, brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. But this definitely looks like it is going to go in favor of the bosses of this gym, at least for this first battle. I mean, there's still the uh, Hellenic Cataphract is still here. He could definitely still get some more kill. Oh my god, that was a that was not nice. <laughs> that was not nice. Celtic Slingers just tossing stones. Tossing stones. Kalenic Cataphract here. He's got 165 kills. Starting to get picked off though as he's trying to retreat away. Koki and Hoplite's gonna charge into this unit of Massilian Thoreo Spears. Yeah, it looks like they might be just trying to end it here now. Got the Cataphract General. Looks like he's gonna rear up, maybe get ready for another big charge. 35 seconds. We're going to follow him. We are going to follow the Cataphract General and see what he does. Oh, God. He's still just getting hit. Charging in and getting dropped. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Axes come flying in there as well. Lena Cataphract General. I mean, he got 173 kills. He did pretty solid. The yeah, Osworn here, though, 147. The Osworn General, 111. Pretty good job there by R. Verney for sure. Doesn't look like he really lost all that much either. All right, let's take a look at the ending army, army compositions here. Uh, so first we will take a look at Towers Titan. He was commanding R. Verney, 873 kills, 113, 153 with his Osworn. His Celtic Warriors top was 138, and the uh, Mercenaries here, 129, 115, and no, oh, 60. But they, look at how big that unit still was, wow. Uh, then we have Greycoast here playing his Persia, 405 kills, 113 with his General. Uh, one of his cataphracts there with 112. The skirmishers did okay. One unit there with 47 kills. And then we have Fine Tips playing against Massilia, 905 kills. 159 with his general. God. Gallic Hunters, uh, 59, I'm sorry, 58 and 65. His Celtic Slingers, 47 and 45. Still very strong there. And a skirmisher, didn't even see the skirmisher unit. 50 kills for them. Levy Freeman, 66, 81. His Light Hoplite, 77. And his Massilian Thoreos, 129 and 86. Getting in with War, playing as Seleucid, 491 kills, 174 with his general. Uh, the Mercenary Armored Camel Spears, 66 kills for one of them. 
Camel Spearman, 123. And his horse skirmishers did pretty good, 43, 44, and 33. Pretty solid. Ninja Keeper coming in with Colchis, 402 kills. 35 with the General. That was unfortunate there. Uh, his Slingers and Archer, actually, no, Slinger there, 103, 61. His Archers, unfortunately, don't look like they did very well. Uh, his Eastern Spearman, 25, 17. Coquian Hoplites, 54. And his regular Hoplites, 11 and 15. We did see one of them get run over. And then we have Marcus Decimus here playing as the Odrysian Kingdom, 682 kills. Thracian Noble General just got trapped. He just got trapped. It was a good move by Arverni pulling him back. And uh, it was very unfortunate to see him get trapped out there. Mercenary D or Die Swordsman, they did pretty good. 63, 142, and 78. Pretty solid there. And, of course, we have the Thracian Warriors, 109, 84, 59, and 74. So going going by the unit sizes, they only use large size. They don't use ultra size units. Uh, it was pretty definitely pretty good kills. But, all right, guys, that is the end of Battle 1 between these two teams. Be ready in the next few days. There will be battle number two coming out, and then I will actually be starting to cover the bracket system of this uh, tournament once I cover all of the regular battles, as what they are calling them. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. Again, I will put the link for the Discord and for the mod in the description below. Get on over there. Have some fun. Good group of people over there. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one.